I was listening again to a number of different uh, sermons from Erwin McManus, uh, Mosaic Church out in Hollywood, California. Man, he said something in one of the sermons. And he said in the sermon, he said, God wishes to kill your ego, not your ambition. You can't feed your family and your ego at the same time. And that's one of the biggest things I see across social media is I see egos being fed, egos being fed, egos being fed. It's like social media becomes this machine to feed people's ego. But you cannot feed your ego and your family at the same time. I think once that you once you come to that realization, your world will be unlocked. It seems like the people that appear to have the biggest ego actually have the least. Uh, and it's because like, you look like a guy, like, you know, one of my coaches, uh, Sean Whalen, I don't know if you guys know Sean Whalen. Um, he's incredible. Um, you know, he, he 100% appears to have the biggest ego of all time, but he has no ego when you actually get to know him, but he can stand on a stage and say, like, I don't care about any of you. Like I, I could care less about what any of you think. And that comes across as like, Oh, it's, this guy's got a huge ego. He's full of himself, <laughs> but he would do anything for anyone. And it's because of the fact that, you know, he calls it um, the king eats first and it's putting yourself first. You have to be selfish to be selfless and you can only give from the overflow of you being taken care of. So you have to focus on yourself first to be able to add value to anybody else. And so I kept struggling, going back and forth with why on earth do you want to run these 13.1 miles in less than two hours? And I was like, because it's a goal and I got to have goals and I got to have something to go after. And as soon as I do it and I, and I hit one hour and 59 minutes, I'm going to f- feel incredible. But then part of me said, oh, but, but you're going you're gonna to screenshot that, right? Like you're going to screenshot your Map My Run app and you're going to post that to your Instagram story, right? And so are you doing it for you? Or are you doing it because you're competing with yourself? Or is it your ego that you want to show other people that you went out and did something great today that you did something that you've never done today is it really for you or is it for the appearance are you seeking to be known or are you seeking to be worth knowing are you seeking to be great are you seeking the appearance of great when in reality on the inside there's nothing much good at all i think i was before i was so yeah i was so concerned with appearance and and what other people thought of me Um, cared probably more about what people thought of me than what was really going on. (laughs) You will have so many different new perspectives on the way that you see the world, the way that you use social media, uh, and the way that you go about your life and your relationships and everything that you have. Ego is the enemy. If you've read that book, Brian Holiday, it's an incredible book, Uh, but it's it's just a fact. You will not feed your family and your ego at the same time. So the the sooner, the quicker you kill your ego, the faster that you're going to be headed towards success.